Hello everyone, this is Sean and welcome back to episode number 15 of our Willamette Valley Railroad Transport Fever Let's Play. We're on hard difficulty on a free game USA map and when we left off it was 1951 and I was looking at this uh, transfer area here. Uh, you can probably remember, I, I think I mentioned at the end of the last episode that I was going to, uh, that uh, this would be a good project to redo. And uh, so I went ahead and redid it. It turned out to be a little more of a project than I expected. My original plan was to maybe just double up here and then run double tracks and then and then redo all those intersections and everything. But there's it's really tight getting through here anyways. Right now we really only have two blocks. And so uh, that's causing kind of a big traffic jam. So I thought it would be helpful if I diverted all the traffic that's going over here, because a lot of traffic is, um, onto its own line. And so I set that up, but then I realized that this transition here is going to get super crowded if I don't do something. So I set up another bypass line over here. And uh, th I mean, this is like spaghetti. It's it's so, it's it's a real mess. But I think it's going to help, um, help uh, get our trains through a little more quickly. So we need to uh, give it a couple of, uh, a couple of minutes to, um, to like reset the routes and everything uh, because I think that, that that it checks for its routing when it goes to the station and leaves the station it'll check its routing but maybe it checks the routing when it gets back to stop number one I haven't quite figured that out yet uh, so I've been playing a lot uh, between recordings here um, and this is a new session for me I recorded the last five or six episodes maybe a week ago or something and uh, I'll be recording I'm, I'm not quite sure how much I'll record today. Um, and uh, so I played, I think, two games on hard difficulty. And boy, I've really gotten better at a lot of this stuff. Um, my, uh, I have like little depots going. And so like I, th like I learned from this right here that you pretty much can't, I haven't been able to successfully add new use of a plant once it's been established. So you kind of have to establish early on what you're going to be pulling from that plant because it kind of locks into that. Or, or I just haven't been able to figure out a way to start additional production going. Like when I, I don't think that wasn't this game where I started to try to pull weed away from this station. But here I wasn't able to get oil out because I couldn't get that plastic demand going. And I may be able to figure out a way to get that going. So I, uh, I did figure out why that wasn't working because with our tool plant over here, so steel and plastic, that's how you make um, machines. And so I'd have to get both steel and plastic in there. But uh, two wood makes a tool. So right now it's turning all these planks. Uh, so it, like it's gonna have an endless need for planks. And the problem is if I continue bringing in constant planks and steel, it's going to use those up there, and, and the steel and plastic won't go together. So it's really never going to demand plastic. I'd have to dramatically increase my steel production. And uh, I can't, right now, my steel production is, like, dependent on my plank delivery. Uh, so, it, you know, that's not going to help it out either. I guess I could set up a specific train taking steel back and forth. I wonder, well, I don't have a big surplus of uh, construction materials. Right now, I'm trying to upgrade my trains, aren't I? Are we in that kind of a transition period? What's going on with these things? Looks like they're all, they're on 100% anyways. Stake cars, oh, that's good. Well, those are upgraded and those are old so I must have been doing one line at a time oh, okay so that's upgrading and that one's upgrading yep so I'm just working on them as we get to, as we get the opportunity so that's good I'll be able to no that's a fuel where's the steak oh, that'd be a shame if I've already upgraded the construction material and I haven't okay good so I'll be able to upgrade to those new cars, which will actually get me some faster trains. So let's see how things are going down here. It definitely looks like these trains are automatically shifting over like I had hoped. 
Still running into a bottleneck here, though. Oh. So this fuel train... Why would it take this lower route and not the higher route? Or not the uh, outer route. Maybe it just hasn't been long enough yet. It does take a long time for these things to to do their uh, entire loop. Oh, okay, that's why. I got it. I, I don't connect up to up here. So, I wonder, it might be worth it to build a bypass line that would just go up this way. Uh, another thing I realized is that uh, uh, laying track is cheap. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, you know, I'll probably spend a million and a half dollars if I build this line here. But that's still cheap um, compared to, like, you know, uh, if I can increase the profit of, of uh, this line, that million and a half dollars, I'll make back in like a year. And uh, track, the, uh, there's no no maintenance costs on it, you know. So, like, in in, in a lot of games, that would be a concern. It's like, what, you know, is the, is the maintenance cost of this track going to... Uh, am I going to make, you know, is that going to cause me to lose money in the long run? Um, but that's, uh, that's not really an issue at this game for, for whatever reason. So, um, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to do that. Let's, uh, I don't quite need to go. 80 miles an hour should be fine. And uh, there's where we link up. Perfect. And let's go with the outside track. Let's check our uh, terrain here. It's pretty much just a straight uphill. So we'll have it, I can have it connecting kind of in the middle here and that would give us enough room for a full block. So we'll slow that one down to 80 as well. That's another thing is these 90 mile an hour speeds don't come into play until like 1970 or something like that. Though we are getting close, 1953. So what happens if we just try to go the whole route. Well, 178,000. All right. Connect it on both ends properly. Yeah. All right. That's fine. We'll do it. Nope. Not there. Start on that one. There we go. We'll build that up to there. Put in some signals. There. There. So I figured out one one big uh, thing that was helpful is setting up your signals not like not right on the edge here. I mean it's kind of pointless at this stage, but um, the when you go through to electrify and upgrade your line to high speed rail, uh, it's when you have the signals really close to those intersections. That is when you start running into uh, conflicts that you have to like do construction to fix them all up and so yeah once uh i'm not sure what i'm trying to say here oh yeah when you're building early don't build your signals like at the extreme closest point like even this is plenty of room but if i tried putting it in in here oh that's right you can't see the cursor in this game that's, that's so frustrating. Every time I watch the video, I'm doing something like that where I'm like, oh, you can see right here. And, and uh, it's like, no, you can't see right there, dummy. So you can see right, like I could I could put the signal there, but that's going to cause a conflict when I go to upgrade my tracks. Uh, so I put signal back here. It doesn't really make any difference. And then there won't be any conflict when I do that upgrade. All right, so this should divert my oil trains. You can see already that they're diverting. Maybe this is going to end up being a... Uh, congested intersection, but kind of want to keep my main line going. So you can still see there's a little bit of slowdown up here. But I think that'll work its way through. And if we can keep everything running at, you know, more or less top speed, then we will end up with a... Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, much better profits. I'm curious why it took that route for the Eugene food train. Oh, because it's going to there. So it does still have to hit. It can't really take the bypass line. I suppose I could try to put in, but you know what? I think, I think, uh, I don't think I need to keep fiddling with it. How are we doing on upgrades here? Uh, that keeps distracting me. I'm just going to turn it off. All right, those are those were already done. Those are apparently all good. So we still have a couple of trains that need to be upgraded. So I want to be uh, don't just start throwing money around. Wait until these trains get upgraded before we do that. So I wonder, I hadn't ever really looked up. Well, you can't see what I'm doing anyways, but I hadn't ever really looked up, and it was uh, the the frames per second. There's a little frames per second counter while I record this. You guys don't see it, but it was running at 30 there for, for a long time until I mentioned it, and now it's jumped up to 50. So I, was, I thought maybe that the game was just limited to 30 FPS, which didn't make any sense. But now it's up to 50, so... It's weird how that just kind of jumps all around. Look at all these trains moving through here. So smooth. I love it. Um, I'm really uh, happy with the way that the game that I was playing in between, I was setting up some pretty interesting um, depots or, or like rail hubs, like uh, something like here. I would probably have oil and wood connected up if I could. But you can use uh, trucks pretty effectively, like I have at that farm over there where we have our farm cheater line. Um, except if uh, what I probably should have done is set the f station up here, and then I could have hauled farm and oil together. And I wouldn't be able to connect up their, their destination lines, but maybe I could have by searching around and finding a uh, food place that's next to an oil refinery. Doesn't look like we really have any of those. So maybe not this time around. Ah, maybe, like I could have combined those two and uh, like built a station right in here and then just had trucks carrying the stuff back and forth. And so I could have set my, there you go, exactly. I could have set my original line to go like that and used trucks to do those. And then, this is a long way from Eugene for trucks to deliver it to Eugene, but I definitely could have had trucks delivering the goods to Arlington. And so I would have just had one train doing most of the work and then trucks doing all the local work. And I think for the delivery to Eugene, I'd probably, because we're gonna, well, I probably would have set up a train line over to Eugene and then back. Um, and then for passenger lines, I actually built entirely new lines for the passenger lines. Uh, I didn't have them share uh, share lines at all. So, all right. Well, this train is upgraded. So now all we have left is this one. Of course, that's not all we have left. We have plenty uh, plenty more upgrades to do yet. Uh, but all we have left for this uh, for this line anyway. get that uh, livestock delivered to the food processing plant. I guess that's what, is that what that is? Food processing plant, cool. And no upgrade, huh? Why are you not upgrading? Do I have it set to only at 100% or something? Replacement, no? Oh, $17 million, holy. Well, no wonder you're not upgrading. That's a lot of money. Do I have, uh, I don't have any outstanding loans. And it's 1950, so I could borrow up to $100 million. Let's do it. And get these trains upgraded. I think we have all of the uh, upgraded, um, those look like the upgraded boxcars. 
So I was playing the European um, set over on uh, the other game, and uh, their box cars upgrade really late, like 1970 or something like that. It was crazy. All right, so this one will be able to upgrade, and next we should probably do Eugene Fuel, you think? We've got Eugene Food going. Construction material would actually be real nice to upgrade. Let's do that one next. So we're going to do 25% set vehicle. So we, we're going with that one, which goes up to 99. Doesn't mean anything because our, our uh, cars don't quite go that fast. This one goes 87. Actually, I think our cars do go up to 99 at this point, don't they? Yeah, 99. Great. Well, we could probably should stick with that one then. So this one is, what, more powerful? No? Cheaper? Slightly. Slightly cheaper to run and uh, more productive. So we can't go above 99 anyways. And what would the point of going with the diesel be? A lot cheaper, that's why. But this one's way more powerful. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one anyways. We're going to put that on there. And then we'll put... like six. Can we s squeeze a seventh one on? Let's stick with six for now. Also, I found that I like to make my trains a little too long, so this uh, this will be better. And uh, there we go. So we'll upgrade our construction material trains as well. Let's turn the speed. Oh, no, wait. We have the speed going slow, so we can... Uh, so this one should get upgraded. So if we're doing $20 million a train... Yeah, I, I guess I could upgrade these, the, the fuel line as well. And there's our tank car. Looks like six vehicles for that one as well. Yes, 25%. Great. Close that down. All right, waiting for free path. What's going on there? Now that's kind of weird. Is there a um, electric problem here or something? Let's have you turn around maybe. Hmm. This one seems to be getting out just fine. All right. I don't like that these guys are back to back like that. Is that uh we only have two. Okay, so we're gonna need to. We're gonna want to stagger those out. That's something that's a real shame. Is that it doesn't uh, like it's really difficult to. Uh, boy, this intersection is crowded. It's really difficult to s set these up to where you know they're they're each on opposite ends where they're supposed to be. Uh, like we're going to be able to do that now, but it's going to be kind of time-consuming and tedious to to because we're going to put that train stopped, and then we're just going to wait until that that train gets to where it's going. So keep an eye on those up in the corner there, and looks like our fuel trains are upgrading pretty quickly. Construction material trains upgrading all right. We've got two more to upgrade, so that's going to cost us about thirty million dollars. So we could probably set up. Let's, let's wait until those upgrades get done. I think the San Diego fuel line probably be the next one to do. But I don't really want to have these, these ones running partially. Arlington fuel as well. So I guess that would be the next one to do, not San Diego. No, Arlington construction material. That would definitely be the next one to do. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and set that one up now. And I think we did six state cars there we go all right so now these two are balanced out no path electric huh mm. shoot all right let's uh reverse there we go Well, they're not perfectly synced, but they're synced well enough. Actually, I'll stop you and then start you up again. And that'll, that'll level it out. All right. Close you two down. 
And what were we doing here? We've got six cars. Turn that to yes. We'll close that down. All right. Let's look at these other ones. That one is finished upgrading, so 100% no. This one also completed. Very good. That one's done. I don't know what I did there. That one's ready to go. Cool. And we don't have enough to upgrade one train at this point. So, uh, all we have left is one on this line. That's That was pretty fast. I would like to try to rebalance all of these lines. That's ah, not going to upgrade, is it? Shoot. Where's the other vehicle on this same line? That one. Where are you at? Are you coming into the same station? No, it looks like you're going... So this one is carrying steel. Oh, okay, it's in the middle of its route. Good, we'll just leave it like it is. I guess we're going to keep an eye on this one until it up upgrades, huh? I really ought to add a, an additional line or two to this station, maybe smooth out the uh, trains going in and out. Although it doesn't doesn't look too bad from at this point. There's nobody waiting at, to get in. So I think this is I think that's our train right there. No. No. That's our train right there. No. It's just going over a bridge. What the Oh, it's carrying logs. Huh. Oh okay, so it was picking up logs. It wasn't going into the planks. I thought it was going to grab planks. Got it. And this one's only carrying one thing of steel. I'm glad I didn't build that extra steel train. Hey, there we go, upgraded. Beautiful. Uh, listen to that, sounds so good. All right. We are up to date on that line. Now, Arlington Fuel, I think, will be the next one. So, GG1. And one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-five percent. Yes. Close it down. And what do we got going on with these trains here? So this one is kind of in the middle of nowhere. This one is carrying fuel back. This one is also carrying oil, and it's right there. So they're not really bunched up. They're pretty well separated. I like it. It's going to take a while to get $17 million, though. And plus, now we've got $2.5 million a year being paid uh, paid in interest. I guess we're still making like $10 million in profit or something, or we will be. So last year we spent $48 million, and we had minus 29, so we made $19, $19 million. That's one train a year. Wow, it's really expensive. Right, well, I think we're going to put a break in here, mostly because the timer just about uh, just about stopped, but I turned it off before it got down to zero. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching. Uh, this game is fun, and, and uh, I like how this railroad is going, and uh, we're going to stick with it. Um, for a little while anyways, I don't want to make any promises because honestly I'm kind of excited to start a new one. Um, but I do like getting a little further along than we have in this one. And uh, compared to the game that I just got done playing, this is kind of a quaint challenge. Uh, it's, there you can see a lot of things that I should have set up differently from the beginning. Um, so we'll go at least a few more episodes with this. And... Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, click the like button and leave some comments down in the comment area. I like to talk to you guys about stuff. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.